Bobby. 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 Your show starting, Bobby. Okay, sounds good. Now, I, I really have to go. I'm supposed to be doing a painting episode right now. What's that? Yes. Yeah, you can borrow my combat boots. No, no problem. Okay, I gotta go. I love you too, Mom. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Robbie the Painter. Sorry I'm running late. Got a phone call from my mom, right? before going on and you know I love my mother so you got to take those phone calls but we're gonna do a painting today and uh, I've already got the canvas behind me it's all prepped with uh, liquid whites ready to go and holy jumping catfish what in the wide world of sports what is going on here do -de -do -de -do -de -do -do -de do -de do -de do Oh, hey, Sassy. Oh, hi, Bobby. It's Robbie. Whatever. What's the matter? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what, what happened here. Look at my canvas. Oh, no. That's awful. Well, thank you for the, the concern and the support. I appreciate it. No. I mean, that looks terrible. No, see, I, I don't know what... You can't show that to people. I didn't do that. What a mess. No, but, no. I mean, hmm. Well, we're going to have to figure something out here. Trash can? I've got it. Sassy, have you ever heard the saying, turning lemons into lemonade? Yes. Sassy? We're going to make some lemonade. Oh, I like lemonade. And that, my friends, is going to be the theme for today's episode. Just when you think you've screwed your canvas up, you've done a mistake, you've done something wrong, you can turn it into something beautiful. And that's what we're going to do today. Got my paint palette here. I'll run the colors somewhere on the screen. It always changes. Let's grab our two inch brush. Let's pick out a sky color. I think I'm gonna go into some Indian yellow. Let's make a let's make a nice sunny looking sky. I'm gonna start up here at the top. Oh yeah. We used this in another episode. Uh, I think it was sunny sky. And we're just gonna bring this down. Just keep working that. Indian yellow down. It's going to mix with the liquid white that's already on the canvas and get lighter as we come down. And I'm just swirling. You can see I'm, I'm not doing X strokes or, or anything in particular. Oh, I picked up some brown there. Let's wipe that off real quick. All right. I don't want to get down in the brown just yet. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing. Ah. Well, there you go. See, we're fixing stuff on the fly. 
got a little too low with my swirling. So we're just gonna rub that and make it disappear. Come all the way down, just down by the brown. I think we'll add just a touch more here at the top and work it down. Back and forth, take the brush strokes out. This is gonna be a fun episode. I'm glad you guys are here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for coming back. And as always, I've mentioned a, a few names that uh, people that support me and, and friends and family. And I wanted to say a shout out to uh, Jeff and Janice and also to the guys in, in the Juice Weasels, a uh, classic rock band that um, I'm still a part of, still a member of, but I want to shout out to Tom and Ross and Jay. I know you guys are watching too, so it's good to have everybody here. Let's go ahead and throw in a few clouds real quick. Grab a number four fan brush or whatever, kind of a smaller fan brush. Dip into some titanium white. Let's come up here and we'll just put in a few clouds. I'm just pressing pressing some white on here. I'm just gonna throw in a few clouds so that we have them up here. Sometimes you don't have clouds in the sky. If you don't wanna put clouds in your, in your painting, if you're following along with me, <laughs> in order to follow along with this one, you got to sabotage your canvas. So, uh, but if you are following along and that, and you don't want clouds, don't put clouds in. Just because I do something doesn't mean you have to do it. It's your painting. You can do anything you, anything you want. I've got two, two inch brushes going here. So I've grabbed the clean one and Again, we're gonna use the top corner of our brush and just do little, little circles. Just blend the bottom of these clouds a little bit. And that one and that one. A little blending. I'm using a very light touch on this. Very light touch, just a little swirl. And then we take and almost lay the brush flat against here. Just, you know, you can see the angle that I'm using. I'm not going straight in, but just we lift up very lightly. And that pulls some of that paint in the clouds upward. And you'll get little streaks. Don't panic. I'm going to flip that over to the dry side and very lightly, very lightly. Just a whisper. I come across and it takes up those little streaks. Let's come into some of this brown here. I'm gonna start down here and get some on my brush. So I'm going into the brown, so I've got a little on the end of the brush. And I'm gonna start working my way up into the sky. Just tapping. Just tapping. Coming down into the brown to grab some more and come up. And what we're doing is creating some distant trees. Just kind of the indication of some distant trees. They should look far away. We're probably not even going to put any, uh, you know, highlights or color to these. Now, before I get too far across, let's move some of this brown here. We're going to make a little hill out of it. So all I'm doing is grabbing some of this brown and pulling it. Just like that. Just gonna make a little, a hill that dips in the middle there. 
grab some of this. I'm just gonna keep bringing this down. We don't know what's down here yet. I'm getting ideas as we go, but I don't have everything in this painting planned out yet. Just have some ideas. We'll see if we can remember the idea is taking what we thought was a mistake and turning it into something. So let's continue with our, our distant bushes and trees and stuff. And here where we, we've got a little more of the brown. Now we can bring that up and make a little bit bigger tree. And back down. Maybe a bigger one here on the edge. We don't know. I'm just tapping some sap green into my two inch brush on here and uh, come over and grab a little bit of cadmium yellow. Cad yellow is so, such a thick paint. You know, dry, dry and thick. I'm gonna dip into some liquid white with the same dirty brush and bring it into this green and yellow mixture. This will thin the paint and allow it to stick on the canvas. We're gonna see what this color looks like. Um, I'm just gonna tap kind of underneath these trees. Grabbing some Indian yellow. Let's grab that Indian yellow mix that we used over here. And if you can tell the direction that we, we tap our hills kind of gives you the, the lay of the way the hills go. Do they go down? Do they go up? You know, do we take this one and it comes down this way? And you can leave patches if you want. You don't have to cover it. I'm gonna go back into this green, more on the green mix here. I'm just adding a lot of little different color in here. It's gonna be colorful. Let's come over here with that. Maybe grab some brown. Van Dyke Brown and bring that into our sap green. Let's start darkening our hills up. Remember, as things get closer, they're lighter in the background and they get darker in the foreground. We're gonna come into straight Van Dyke Brown. Let's just, let's just do this. We're gonna put some underpaint and darken this up. Uh, we might as well come all the way down. I'm not sure what's happening down here at the bottom, but I'm sure it's going to be something dark. So let's just add straight Van Dyke Brown so that our foliage shows up, our trees, our bushes, whatever we're going to put in here shows up. Prussian blue and brown, Van Dyke Brown, Prussian blue. Let's pull some of that Maybe even a little sap green. Grab that. And I'm mixing it up here by the Prussian blue. Change plans. Uh, I got the midnight black on my uh, on my paint palette here. But I'm going to take this bluish green color, which isn't a bad looking color. And I'm going to put that down here and darken up some of this. Just making this up. Figuring it out as I go. Okay. And I'm just gonna add some dark color so we have something to put our light on. Come down here with the dark color, more midnight black, some blue, a little bit of brown. Let's darken this bottom up. I'm gonna grab my dirty fan brush. I haven't even washed it yet. And I want to go into this uh, blue-brown mixture. Maybe not grabbing the black, but I do want a darker 
darker color. And I'm seeing maybe a closer tree line like right in here. And I'm just holding the fan brush vertical and pushing it and tapping on the canvas. And I'm going up and down. Not all the same height. Just a little line of trees to give it a little bit of uh, something else going on, you know? Adding in something else. And then I take the fan brush and just pull it a little. It gives us some ground underneath these these trees that they're standing on. Some shades and shadows and stuff like that that's happening. Like that. That's pretty cool. Maybe there's another line of trees. Why not? You know what? We can do anything we want. I always forget that part. I can do anything I want. If it goes haywire, we'll fix it, you know? Just something starting over here. Maybe kind of disappearing right over here. And we're just gonna add in a little dark underneath and then take our fan brush and very lightly pull through the base of these trees. You don't want to go up into the tops of the trees. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this color down into this, this lighter yellow in a little arch or crescent. Okay. Not bad. I think this needs to stay dark just a little farther that way. And then let's pull that and see what, stand back. And I know I'm getting into my tree that I put here. That's okay. That tree's not, nothing's permanent. Nothing's ever permanent. All right. Yeah, just kind of working it back and forth. Little tree line there. Maybe as I stand back, I'm like, you know, I want some more trees. Grab some more color dark color. A little pull. I think I'm going to take this, this dark color. We're going to blend it right up into this tree line here, right underneath the tree line. Okay, let's darken this tree up just a little bit. Let's dip into some liquid white and a little bit of sap green. Grab some cadmium yellow. Get a good amount of cadmium yellow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stay up here where the cadmium yellow is and mix it up here. Down here by the green, it's getting too much green on it. I'm gonna keep this a little lighter. 
yellow, liquid white, little tiny bit of, of green. We're gonna come up here to this. We're gonna start up here on this tree. We don't know what kind it really is, but just gonna add some highlights to the side of this tree. Maybe the sun's over here someplace and it's gonna highlight this tree. You can either do a liner brush and, and draw some uh, some branches in that that are holding these bushes up, or you can take your palette knife and come up here and use the corner of your palette knife and just scratch through the paint. Okay. Here and there. All right, adds a little, little more detail. There we go. Yeah, now there's something holding those, those leaves up. I think we've about got a finished painting. What do you think, Sassy? No. Uh, what does it need? A little house. A house? And make it pink. A pink house? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. All right, I have some alizarin crimson and we've got some titanium white. Gonna mix up a pinky color. You said pink. She said pink. All right. There, it's tucked away back in there. There we go. Now we've got a house. I think we're about done with this painting. What do you think, Sassy? No. Now what does it need? A little pathway. A pathway? Mm-hmm. Just in case I want to take a stroll outside. So you can walk out from your house? Yes. Okay. When does this become your painting? Please, just make me a pathway, Bobby. <laughs> we'll do a pathway. Sassy wants a pathway, we're going to put a pathway in. Okay, I'm grabbing my small filbert. It's dry. There's nothing on it. I think we're just going to pull through some paint to get rid of it where we think our path's going to be. And we don't know, but we know it's coming from, from the front door of this little pink house, right? So I'm mixing up yellow ochre, titanium white. We want a light tan. I think I used too much yellow ochre because... It's not lightening up as much as I want. I'm gonna come up here to the front door and I'm just doing that little uh, crescent half moon stroke with the paintbrush. All right, stand back and look. We have a little path, kind of looks like a path. This path is a little hard to see. So what I'm gonna do is I've got mostly titanium white I'm gonna start at the front door. I'm just gonna lay a line of this titanium white. We already have some yellow ochre on here. I wanna lighten this up a little bit. And I'm trying to stay right down the middle of the path. I'm gonna come along here and then it turns here. So I'm gonna turn and just 
lay in some white. Now I'm going to take the same liner brush and just zigzag back and forth through it. Get some more off my brush there. Maybe a little more yellow ochre here and there. But that white we just put on, we're just going to blend that with that crescent move and kind of back and forth motion. And you can stand back and look and see, did you lighten your path up? Is it light enough where you wanted it? And again, the, I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on this. So I don't want the episode to go on forever and ever. But you have time at home, you can make this uh, path really detailed and stand out. You know, if you work this, you can put some bushes here on the edge of the path, maybe a couple bushes. All right, I'm gonna get in. <laughs> I see some, this is what I'm talking about. So we put some light stuff on, on the side of the path that's farthest away from us. And we've got this side that's closer to us. And we can put, using my liner brush, I'm just dabbing here and there. And I'm going to kind of smooth underneath, give it some ground to stand on. There's a little bit bigger bush. back and forth. So it looks like we have a little bit of greenery on this side. Kind of got into my path a little too far. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of it. There, the bush went too far up into my path. I just got rid of that bush. Okay, now I think we have a finished painting. What do you think, Sassy? No? Nope. Now what does it need? I want a pool. A pool to dip my toes in. A pool to dip your toes in. A pool or, or a pond? Maybe pond's better for you. <laughs> Let's make a little pond. Talk about changing things on the fly. If we're gonna do a pond, then we're going to figure out where the pond is. And I think the pond is right here. And we're going to pull straight down. Put the brush up and pull straight down. Right up to that path. Pull straight down. Let's go ahead and include that. We'll just come across there. Okay. Now I used one side to pull that down. So that means this back side is clean. I'm going to flip the brush over to the clean side very lightly. This is the same way we do our clouds where I say just a whisper. We're going to do just, just a whisper and come lightly across. Don't overwork it. You want to try to make your lines this as uh, horizontal as possible. We added our shoreline. We put a little highlight color that had a blue and a little brown, a little white mix. What if we don't like that blue? What if we stand back and, and we don't like that? You can change that if you want. All you have to do is mix up another color, some brown or something, and a little white and just go right over the top of it. Okay, and with our filbert, we're just gonna bring this color maybe down into our pond just a little bit. And then with a dry two inch brush, just gonna grab and pull a little of that color down from the path 
and lightly across. Let's grab our clean palette knife and let's dip into that liquid white that we've got in our little chicken pot pie uh, container. And let's come up here and let's add just a little, little water line here and there. You want these lines again to be fairly horizontal. Get one that's not straight or you get too much on there. Just keep rubbing it. You'll fix it. There's a little more happening over here in this corner. Oh, I like that. Like that. Is this okay now? You like it? Yes. I love it, Bobby. Well, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Thank you for spending your time with me. Today's episode, we took a disaster. And no matter when you think you made a mistake or something went wrong, there's always a way to fix it. And I appreciate each and every one of you spending your time with me. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bobby?